Welcome to the Workholding Video Toolbox. The topic of this video is Enerpak's Wand and Booster Coupling Technology. This video will cover an overview of the Wand and Booster, how they work, advantages, and how to specify. Like a traditional manual coupler, the Wand and Booster is a means of pressurizing a fixture in a decoupled palletized system. However, the Wand and Booster uses a much different technology that offers significant advantages. As an overview, the wand and booster is a coupler that mechanically pressurizes a fixture using a closed loop technology. Unlike a traditional manual coupler, no hydraulic fluid transfers to the fixture. Power is transmitted mechanically by the wand and booster. Let's see how the wand and booster system works. The key is the activator wand and how it interacts with the booster to pressurize the circuit. The activator wand powers a ram. Normally the wand is connected to the booster, but for illustration purposes we will operate the wand detached from the booster. To extend the ram, one simply turns on the hydraulic pump. The ram extends. When the power is shut off, the ram automatically retracts. Now let's look at a typical wand and booster circuit to demonstrate how the wand interacts with the booster to clamp and unclamp a circuit. Here we see an unclamped decoupled circuit. When one is ready to pressurize and clamp a fixture, the wand is engaged with the booster. The wand is then activated by turning on the pump. The ram immediately starts to extend. It pushes against the booster piston, which displaces oil from the booster past the check valve into the clamping circuit, pressurizing the fixture and clamping the part. The next step is to decouple the wand from the fixture. This is simply done by releasing the pump power button. With the pump off, the spring in the wand automatically retracts the ram. In addition, the spring in the booster pushes the booster's piston back to the top. The wand can now be easily removed from the booster. The fixture is now decoupled with the clamp circuit fully pressurized. The fixture can now be sent to a machining center. Once parts are machined, the process for unclamping the fixture is simple. To unclamp the fixture, simply open the check valve the circuit depressurizes and the fixture unclamps. Now let's watch a video demonstration of a tombstone fitted with the wand and booster. The video starts with the fixture clamped. To unclamp the part, simply open the check valve. Notice how quickly the clamps unclamp. To clamp, the operator simply couples the wand with the booster and turns on the hydraulic pump. Notice how easily the operator attached the booster and clamped the part. Let's watch one more time. The coupling process was simple, clean, and required very little operator effort. Let's discuss the advantages of the wand booster technology. First, it is very easy to use, especially when compared to manual quick disconnect coupling systems. Next, it also offers contamination resistance. Unlike traditional manual coupling systems, wand and booster technology uses closed loop hydraulics with no transfer of oil and no open points for contamination to enter the system. In addition, because there is no transfer of oil, wand and booster technology is very clean. No oil droplets at the coupling. Wand booster technology, by nature, minimizes back pressure, making a wand and booster circuit perfect for single acting clamping. In addition, wand booster technology can also be used in double acting circuits. Now let's look at how to specify. The booster is available in two capacities, 8 cubic inches and 17 cubic inches. Only one wand size is needed and it powers either booster. When sizing a booster, be sure to size your circuit to be 90% or less of booster capacity. Regarding a hydraulic pump, nearly any hydraulic pump can be used to power the wand. By design, the booster circuit operates at half the pressure of the wand circuit. The maximum operating pressure of the booster is 5,000 psi. Therefore, the maximum output pressure of the hydraulic pump is limited to 10,000 psi. 
The Interpac WE pump series is perfect for booster circuits where 2500 PSI or less is required. If the booster circuit requires 2500 PSI to 5000 PSI, Interpac's PE series should be used. For the isolation valve, Interpac offers two options. For booster circuits operating at 3000 PSI or less, the MHV-1 valve is ideal. When greater than 3000 PSI is required, the AP-500 valve is suggested. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions on wanted booster technology, application, or circuits, please contact your Interpac authorized dealer or contact one of Interpac's worldwide sales offices. Thank mm -hmm. you.